How much money should you be spending on curly hair products? We are gonna decide in this video because we're gonna do a little fun video, a side by side, we're gonna be testing expensive higher end products versus affordable drugstore products. We're gonna put each side to the test and see how well they perform. You have got to be joking. I was not expecting that. This has never happened on a side by side for me before. Okay, let's talk through what we're gonna be using. On this side of my hair, we are gonna be using some of the new Fenty hair products. I haven't actually used these yet to properly style my hair, so I have no idea how they're gonna turn out. I've only really used them for hairstyles. And because we're using an affordable heat protectant on this side, I wanted to try and incorporate a more expensive one, and Fenty hair don't seem to have one. So we're gonna be using the Aveda Sun Care Protective Hair Veil. And on the affordable side, we're gonna be using a lineup of Superdrug's own products. They're called the Style Expertise range. We have a lot of different ones to choose from. I have used some of these before, but some of these are completely new to me. We're even gonna be using different tools on each side of the head. The Tangle Teaser is more expensive, so I'm gonna be using that on this side of my head. And I thought for the affordable side, we'll use my bristle brush from Superdrug. So we're doing all Superdrug products on this side of my head. I believe this was eight pounds, but I'll make sure prices are on the screen. And I'm gonna use my affordable comb on each side just to separate my curl clumps. Okay, let's get into it. We need to start soaking wet on each side. Okay, now I'm just gonna comb down the middle. We're gonna start on the more expensive side and we're gonna start with the Aveda Sun UV spray. I'm just gonna spray a small amount all over. I'm gonna brush it through with a tangle teaser. On the more affordable side, we're gonna go in with, it's called the Heat Protect Spray and it's the Style Expertise brand at Superdrug. That smells amazing. And now I'm just brushing this through with the bristle brush. I don't think this is the best detangling brush. I think this is best to use to clump the curls. It's all part of the experiment. Okay, now we're gonna go in with a curl cream. So on the more expensive side, we're gonna go in with the Home Curl Curl Defining Cream from Fenty. It smells incredible. I've used this for hairstyles, but I haven't properly used it to really style my hair. I'm gonna start off with that amount because it's only one side of my head and I don't wanna get carried away. I feel like it's quite a thick consistency. I'm just gonna rake it all over. Now I'm gonna brush it through just to distribute it evenly. This is really gonna help with frizz, but we will section it in a moment so that we can properly brush style the hair. I think that was enough for that side. It does smell incredible. I don't believe I've used this before. I have used a curl cream on the Super Drug Style Expertise line in the past, but I think this is a completely new one and it's been rebranded. So it's called the Define Curl Cream. Okay, I'm excited for this. Rub a small amount in between palms. Okay, yeah, we're gonna start small. Okay, start with that amount. That might be too little, but it says start small. So we're gonna listen. <laughs> Whoa, I'm glad I listened to the packet. That's a lot. That might even be too much. Let me just use one of my hands. I can do with this hand, I think I can use this. It is hard to go back. If you've put too much product in your hair, the only thing you can really do is go in with more water to dilute it or go and rewash it. <laughs> so it's always good to just start small in case. It doesn't smell of much. I think this side is really overpowering my smell. I can just smell this. Okay, now we're gonna distribute it with the bristle brush. Write in the comments now what your prediction is. What side do you think is gonna be better? Do you know what? This is brushing through a lot more silkier and smoother than that cream was. Interesting. I've got a feeling we might be onto something with this side. Okay, now we're gonna section both of the hair in the exact same way, because it needs to be a fair test. So I'm gonna section this top bit off and the other side. In my last video, I spoke about how I started brushing gel through this summer just because it really helps me with frizz, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today just because I don't know how these gels are gonna be and I don't want to cause friction brushing them through. So we're actually gonna start by brush styling first and then we're gonna scrunch the gel in after. So I'm gonna start with the more expensive side and I'm just gonna clump the curls like this. Applying some tension. I'm gonna do the same method on each side, but we're just using the different brushes. I'm basically just doing all of this section 
and then we're going to go through with the comb. Okay, that section's done. I'm now going to go through with the comb and I'm just going to separate the clumps. If not, the hair will dry in mega clumps. Now I'm going to go in with the Stronghold Gel from Fenty. It's like a honey pot. And I've used this a lot now, but for hairstyles. And it works so well, by the way, at slicking your hair back. Just spreading it through my hands. This is going to be for that whole section. I'm going to glaze it like this and scrunch. This bit always gets really frizzy. So I'm just going to define that on its own and just finger twirl that. Okay, we are done on this section for now. Okay, now we're gonna go in and clump this side. It has started to dry a tiny bit, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of water so it's got a fair advantage. Put your index finger and gently clump. This side is a lot silkier, so I've got better slip on the affordable side of my hair from these products than I had on the more expensive side. I didn't struggle with the slip here, just for the record, like it, the brush went through fine, but there is a difference. Like this is very silky. Okay, this side is nice and clumped and now we're gonna separate with the comb. Now we need to go in with our gel. This bit I'm a little bit nervous about because the gel on the Superdrug side, it says hold freeze gel for an all day hold wet look. We're gonna start with a really small amount because I don't obviously want the wet look, but this is the only gel they had on that line. I really wanted to buy it as well because it's cruelty free and vegan and really affordable. So I wanna test it for you guys. So we're gonna start really small, that much, tiny amount. Kind of really spread it in the hands. Oh, that feels like nothing. That feels like nothing, I need more. Okay. Use the same as the other side. Okay, that feels better. That feels a similar amount to that side. Glaze, scrunch. I'm gonna do the same thing on this bit of hair that I did on the other side. So far, so good. Okay, now let's style the top section. And I'm gonna separate as I go. So I'm gonna take this bit, clip that out of the way. I'm gonna brush back with my tangle teaser and then I'm gonna separate section again. I just sometimes twist a section I'm not using and normally it stays like that. Brush away, comb, go through the rest of the section and comb. I'm just finger twirling the face framers. I'm gonna go in with more of the Fenty Hair Stronghold Gel use that much. I'm just gonna glaze it and scrunch. Okay, I am really happy with that section. Really impressed with those products actually so far. I can't see any wet frizz. And if you know, you know, wet frizz means dry frizz, but it's all looking good to me. Let's move on to the affordable side. I am gonna spray a tiny bit of water just because this has started to dry while I was doing the other side. Clumping the hair back, comb. Now I'm just finger twirling these face framing pieces. We're going back in with the Style Expertise Hold Freeze Gel. This much. Gonna glaze it over and scrunch. I was just about to say, okay, let's go and diffuse, but I realized I bought this Style Expertise Volume Foam and it's only $2.99. It's vegan, it's cruelty free, it's affordable. I really want to see if this works well, but if I want to use this, we need to test a more expensive volume product on this side. So I thought I would use the Buclem Super Volumizing Foam on this side as the more expensive side. This isn't ridiculously expensive, but it's £20 and this is £2.99, so obviously that is quite a difference. This is 200ml of product and this is 125 ml of product. So obviously that does come into play, plus loads of other things, but they are two volume products and I want to test this out for you guys. So we're gonna compare. I'm just gonna target it around this top section mainly to get that volume. 
I love this product. I already know it works really well, but I've never used it with that lineup before. I'm not experiencing any of those white bobbles. I probably should have tested that beforehand, but no, we're good, we're good. Okay, let's shake. <laughs> that really scared me. Okay, that's like similar to the other one, so let's do two. Oh, that's really thick. I only need like that much. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to waste this. We're learning lessons here. Because as I said, once you wear your hair down, you can't go back in that styling session. Just scrunching it in. Okay, we're all done. I'm glad I got to use the volume product. I really wanna see how well it works. You can obviously get this Buclem product in Boots, which is a drugstore, but this is definitely still more on the expensive side compared to this, for example. But obviously we're gonna see how they perform. Okay, we're gonna micro plop. I'm gonna do each side evenly. And this is what we're dealing with. They look very similar to me. This one actually looks slightly more clumped. Hmm, we will see. I'm gonna diffuse both sides with the same diffuser. I'm halfway through diffusing, well, just under halfway. They feel very, very similar. I will come back when we're fully dry. You have got to be joking. I was not expecting that. How are they identical? This has never happened on a side-by-side -side for me before. We used different brushes, we used completely different products. This makes me so happy. Do you know why? Because this means you can spend this amount of money and get the exact same result as this amount of money. Obviously everyone has different curl types, different textures and things, but I do have bad wash days, guys. Like I have used products before and I'm like, wow, they're awful. The more affordable side is softer and it is slightly shinier. And then on this side, it's just ever so slightly duller. And now in terms of volume, I would say ever so slightly a bit more volume on the higher end side. Maybe it's slightly flatter on this side, on the affordable side. But can you really tell that much? For the price difference for all of those products, I think this is incredible. You can really get very similar results from cheaper products. I know obviously other things factor into it, like the ingredients where the products were made, the branding, the packaging, like all of those things. But if you're on a budget and you're struggling to afford specific products, I'm just trying to show you that you really can find products out there that are also vegan and cruelty free and really affordable. And honestly, my hair feels a bit nicer on this side. You can get a serum from that super drug line, the Style Expertise line. It recently looked like it was discontinued but I actually saw it back in the shop. I didn't buy it because I thought I already had one at home. Then when I got home, I realized I've run out. So I wish I did buy it. So we're not using an oil or serum today. We don't even need it. It looks so good. I just went on a windy walk just to the shops and back, I wasn't outside for too long. The ends on both sides have frizzed up slightly, like in here, you can see a little bit of frizz. Just a natural amount of frizzing on the end, but for the record, if you're going outside on a windy day with curly hair, with any product in, it's gonna frizz up a little bit. It's not possible to completely contain your hair, if you know what I mean, but, I am noticing actually, now I'm looking closer in my mirror here, I do have some frizz on the high end side, on the inside. It's sort of a bit webbed. Don't really have that on this side as much. I've got a little bit here. Yeah, I mean, there's really not a big difference, is there? So take your scrunchie. Now I'm gathering the back of my hair into the scrunchie, leaving out this front section. Now you want to take mini claw clips this big and you want to cinch this hair at the front in with this hair from the pony bun. And you're going in horizontal on the side. Same thing again, join them together and you're cinching them in here. And the, the clips going like halfway into the scrunchie, halfway into the hair, it's not digging into my scalp at all. And at the moment I've got a satin pillowcase on, so that is gonna really help protect my hair. I cannot wait to see how the curls hold up tomorrow. I will see you in the next clip. Good night.
Good morning, guys. Let's take out my hair. Okay, now we're gonna take this scrunchie out. Sometimes it takes a while for the hair to settle. Both sides have lasted so well. I have a lot of volume in both sides as well. I've got to wait for it to settle a little bit because whatever I do with my hair, it does this in the morning because I've had it up and then slowly it kind of reduces a little bit back to how it naturally would be. This side's going a bit funny, look. This side is <laughs> looking exactly how it was yesterday. It feels lovely and soft still on this side and it feels very kind of crunchy still on this side. We're gonna let it settle and we're gonna come back I've been gone for about two hours just to let my hair settle. I've actually been outside as well. I changed my top as well because I realized I had toothpaste on my other top. But yeah, the hair is, <laughs> I mean, if I hadn't have told you that I've styled my hair with different products, I really don't think you'd be able to tell. But yeah, I've been outside. It's not as windy today, but I don't really see any extra frizz. I do see on the higher end side that the shape here hasn't really settled as well. Maybe because the products on this side are maybe a little bit more of a stronger hold. So they took the shape of being pinned up at night a bit more. Whereas this side, maybe because it's a bit softer, it's just able to fall back into its shape. And it does look ever so slightly shinier. This side almost feels a bit more like moisturized than this side. This side feels a bit drier. I think there might be slightly less volume on this side. Maybe it's a little bit flatter than this side, but it's really not much difference. The fact that I really can't tell the difference in volume is so cool because it means that that full super drug routine really could be a go-to for definition and volume and longevity so far. I know it's only been overnight, but we've been outside twice. Nothing's majorly frizzed up or anything. I have confidence that this side is gonna continue to last. This was so fun to film, guys. I've really enjoyed it. I'm actually so impressed with every individual product I use. I think all of the products I use on each side of my head work so well, so I recommend all of them. And as mentioned, there are so many factors as to to why products cost a certain amount of money but if you're really on a budget and you want your curls to look great there are options out there and that is what I wanted to demonstrate. I hope you enjoyed this video guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more curly content from me and I will see you next week bye